It's the age-old saying of real men don't cry, but there's research that suggests men who don't talk about their feelings and emotions are less healthy and suffer more from isolation, loneliness and depression. The organisation Men's Shed is trying to change that by getting retired men to, together to talk and form friendships. Lisa Fernandez is at the Beaconsfield Men's yeah, Shed right this right morning. Right. Lise, what are you doing there this morning? I am helping these wonderful men create. Now, look, I've got Bill here. He's my spokesperson for the men's shed this morning. Hi, Bill. Hi, how are you going, Lisa? Good. Bill, now tell us, when did you get involved in the men's shed? Well, 13 years ago, yeah. myself and another guy saw the idea and we thought this is a no-brainer. Fremantle yeah. would love to have a men's shed. There weren't oh. many others. That, well, there was none in the metropolitan area. Yes. So we, uh, we got the idea, called, called a public meeting, got yep. a few guys together. Now, in this shed, there's 150 men that come here regularly, uh, off and on, and uh, they come here for all sorts of reasons. Yeah, OK, and just as we uh, talk about the reasons, like, Bill here has made this. Uh, you guys come and create your work during the day, and he's actually made this TiVo for his daughter, who is not watching, it's for her wedding. And, I mean, the workmanship is just incredible. 250 hours, Bill. Yes, I know. It's, it's, it's a labour of love, isn't it? Oh, it is yeah. a labour of love. Yeah. And, I mean, I've got some cheese boards here. I'm just about to buy one of these. Oh, um, right. And good. Les made that, and he's also made some ukuleles. Yeah. Les, show us your ukulele that you've made over here. Bill, why do men come well, here? Well, men come here because uh, they look, they, because it's a recreational pursuit, but they also come because they they might retire or yes. they might be out of a job and they say, well, I'll find somewhere and make a bit of a community yes. connection. And that community connection ends up doing lots of things for the uh, for themselves, but, for also themselves. For the, but also for the community. We do lots of community projects. Les is singing over there. Look, yeah. we've got so much to show you this morning. I don't have enough time, so we have to come back and do that next bulletin. But currently in the city, it is uh, 17 degrees. Sorry, we got down to 15 overnight, and uh, hopefully we're going to get to 20 degrees today. Showers. The reason why I'm sounding funny, Tevo, is because this is a shed, right? That's and it. And the rain is belting down outside and it's so loud you probably can't hear it uh, at home tomorrow 20 showers increasing in the evening wednesday 20 early shower or two thursday 25 friday is the day it's the pick of the day 32 degrees and sunny Saturday, 34, partly cloudy, with the chance of a thunderstorm. Look, like I said, there's so much I want to show you, including this tree here, but I've got no time. So back to you, TiVo. I'll see you in the next bulletin to show you exactly what's being made in the men's shed here in Frio. Fantastic stuff. We'll catch Go you on. then, Lise. Thank you. <laughs>